Yo, what is up and welcome back to another episode of the Yo 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 podcast with Martin and Hooter. Thanks for tuning in everybody and Hooter, how the hell are you? Dude, I am doing great. I want to start off the episode by giving a shout out to Munchies. Munchies. By Gabs. G-A-B-B-S? G-A-B-B-S. And if you want to find them on Instagram, it's munchies underscore by underscore gabs. And she hooked it up. Dude, last episode, she said she was going to send over a care package. And we walk into the studio, and here's the care package, dude. I mean, homie chamoy. Um, what is chamoy? I don't know. Don't know. Um, it tastes good. It tastes good as fuck. But we don't know what it is. Uh, and, you know, you put it on, like, you know the michelada drinks where you they dip the yeah. rim of the cup in chamoy and then they hook it up with tahini and shit? So it looks like she hooked us up with a chamoy package, just chamoy, and then different kind of candies. Um, with chamoy. With chamoy and some other shit. And it looks awesome. And I can't wait to try it. And it looks good. And thank you munchies by gabs and if you're into this shit and you want to try some of these awesome little treats fucking hit her up and dude you know what's fucking hysterical no i mean fuck i feel this episode is going to be fucking hilarious okay and i'm gonna because say because of all your candies because of my candies and <laughs> the fact that my dad is hurting beyond belief dude i have never seen this man bro he opened the door for me and it was like fucking <laughs> the walking dead bro <laughs> um it was your birthday bash yesterday i feel good though it was it was your birthday uh, you bash know, you know I, I was gonna play it off like nothing's wrong no 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 come on. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> for, for the whole episode you're just fucking dude you know, are you out of your mind are you out of your mind look you thought you were gonna be able to get away <laughs> It's like when you're all high as a kid trying to get back in the house. Like, all right, fuck it, just play it off. Oh, <laughs> Nobody it, will know. You know. Nobody will know. And then the second you get in the house, they know. They know. They fucking know. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was pretty loaded. Uh, the, the whole weekend was a party, Hooter. But, um, you know, hold on. My whole fucking life has been a fucking party. Yeah. And um, I hadn't said, let's celebrate a birthday in years. I can't remember the last time I said Let's celebrate my birthday. Mm -hmm. You know, and I say I can't remember the last time I had a Big Mac and mm -hmm. shit like that, but mm -hmm. that's that's the real truth, right? <laughs> I think I had a thing in Vegas a few years ago, um, before I turned fifty. Okay. And but even before that, it's not like, oh yeah, let's have a party. It's my party, that's my birthday. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um sometimes the Nina will do something for me. Mm -hmm. And uh been fucking around with my bruja and you know, <laughs> She said, you have to give thanks for, it's the celebration of giving thanks for another year, you know, another, you know, uh, and, you know, Chiki always wants to make big deals about birthdays and things like that. And yeah, I've always yeah. been like, no, no, no. But yeah. then I'm like, you know, fuck it. Why not? Let's, let's, let's I do deserve it. Let's do something. Right. Yeah. Fuck it. And the suggestion came out for brunch and yeah. I'm like, well, I like brunch. I'm a, you're a big brunch guy. And it's a Sunday. My birthday falls on a Sunday. The stars are lining up for a brunch. brunch. Hey, dude. And um, it was uh, Hannah's birthday the night before. Mm -hmm. So Friday we started off. We, you know, I started off with a couple beers, threw some stuff on the grill, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. a little free birthday weekend yeah. thingy thing. Yeah. And then Saturday came along and we went to this spot out in Redondo. Really cool fucking spot. Mm -hmm. Just cocktails galore, and then at the end of the night, I'm, I'm doing fucking um, bourbon, okay, and okay. the Rocky Rocks, yeah, and um, and I know I was dehydrated. Mm -hmm. You know how like when you're dehydrated and your pee's yellow and oh shit? yeah, oh yeah. yeah. And I woke up to pee. It almost it almost feels thick. Yeah, <laughs> syrupy. Yeah, dude, it's fucking brutal. And um. I I I I didn't flush the toilet, mm -hmm. and then, Sav. 
And uh, then Chiki gets up and she goes, did you pee? I go, yeah. She goes, you're dehydrated. I go, I know. <laughs> and, <laughs> and then I went back to sleep, right? <laughs> and, uh, and so then I woke up. What do you want me to do, Chiki? Put an IV in myself? <laughs> <laughs> and I went back to sleep. And then... I, we, I got up and started getting ready to go to brunchy brunch. Yeah. And then I just looked up and I go, ah, fuck it, I'll hydrate tomorrow. <laughs> Meaning today. <laughs> I was like, there's no way in fuck. I'm going to start pounding a shit ton of water right now. Cause yeah. then I'm just going to be peeing all fucking day. Yeah. Right. Uh, and so, yeah. So we, far, we, solid logic so, up to this point. <laughs> yeah. And then, you know. We we do this get together and and uh, at the little brunchy brunch, mm -hmm. and I gotta tell you, dude, mm -hmm. people can hang, and then people can't hang, mm -hmm. and I think I'm starting to fall on the side of the can't hang. <laughs> like, I could hang while it's going on, right, right, but when it shuts down, mm -hmm. oh boy, do I collapse. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And it's just a hard collapse where it's like, God damn. And, you know, I don't party like that often. Mm -hmm. um, but yesterday was just a mixture of. And, like, why do we, why do we mix? Like, I, I don't understand that. <laughs> like. <laughs> Bro, this fucking hangover is hitting so hard that he's questioning <laughs> day drinking as a whole, dude. Like, why <laughs> Why would somebody have a menu of different things <laughs> set up for you to fail? <laughs> no, dude. Bro. You're, you're bringing it down, dude. You're, you're fucking, your hangover is bringing down the mood. Yesterday was fucking funny oh, shit. It was fun, like no, no, I said. No, 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 but you're, you're while telling I'm hanging, a sad story over here, dude. While I'm hanging, it's great. Mm -hmm. But when it shuts down, I collapse. It, 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 dude, he... That's Bro, the reality. My dad looked like the Super Bowl where the fucking Atlanta Falcons were up on the fucking Patriots <laughs> by a lot. <laughs> by a lot. <laughs> and everybody's like, dude, this is over. It's a fucking done deal. And then Tom Brady comes from behind. Dude, alcohol always wins, bro. It does. Um, I think keeping it like, okay, so bottom of mimosas is one thing, right? Yeah. And they usually give you the cup. Yeah. Okay. The little champagne glass. The little champagne glass. Mm -hmm. Now, and most people get the car carafe mm -hmm. and pour it into the champagne glass. Yeah. Now, you motherfuckers said, I don't need no glass, mm -hmm. and started drinking right out of the carafe. Right. And then I started drinking out of the crowd. I'm like, well, if they're not using glasses. Well, the if they're not I'm using glasses, the how the fuck am I? <laughs> and then there's fucking shots flowing, and there's more and there's so many different drinks. And I'm just, at this point, I'm just, and the sun is out. Oh, it's yeah. a beautiful day. We're by the beach. And you're I, able to go out again. And you're able to go out again. Like, In LA, that's been do, a year. Do you want to sit inside much. or outside? We want to sit outside. But I'm glad that I have a choice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but if you told me I had to sit outside... Definitely inside. <laughs> 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 but now that you're giving me an A and B fucking option. Oh, my God, dude. That poor lady. Um, dude, my dad we just, is so out of his mind, bro. She was like, <laughs> would you like to sit? Easy question. <laughs> she thought. Right? Well, so would you like to sit inside or outside? What? Well, <laughs> okay, I see you guys have you. Okay, you have an inside there, and you could fit ten people inside, right? Yeah. Okay, we'll sit outside. <laughs> she was like, "Okay, well, wait. Well, what's the temperature going to be like for the next three hours? You think?" And the lady just looks at him like he has fucking ten heads, dude. <laughs> and then my dad's like, "I'm just fucking around. Fuck it. We'll just sit outside." And she's like, "Thank God. Okay." <laughs> Just come on, dude. <laughs> Fuck. Well, it's, uh, it, yeah, it, <laughs> it, it it came to my mind like, well, it's gonna get cold out here, dude. So she, so what blew my mind at first? I thought like I wasn't out of my mind by just drinking the champagne just straight out of the thing, right? Yeah, because they had these champagne glasses, and what am I gonna do? Pour out fucking after every sip? You know mm -hmm. what I mean? What am I fucking? And so, 
I was, and so then everybody kind of followed my lead, right? Because I ordered bottomless mimosas for myself. But then everybody was like, oh, fuck, everybody's getting their own fucking mimosas. Okay, fuck it. So everybody started ordering that. But then I started looking around and people were ordering it for the table Mm -hmm. and then sharing, right? Like they were pouring in everybody's glass from the one Mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. And so then I'm looking around like, oh, fuck, we're kind of already being fucking animals, you know? Mm -hmm. But I'm going to tell you something, dude. They had... A bunch of different options to mix with champagne. They had cranberry juice, orange juice, hibiscus. Hibiscus, dude. Hibiscus was good. Come on. And, dude, the pineapple one was so fucking good. It would just go down too fast. I know, bro. And then, obviously, we had to make a game out of it. And we were drinking a whole fucking... What were you calling those things? What, 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 what? What are those? Carat. What, Cara- what is it? What are you talking about? Yeah. What they gave us the champagne. Yeah, the, the, ca- the carof, carafe. I don't know if you pronounce it carafe or carof. Tomato, tomato, however you want. <laughs> okay. The <Cool>. carafe. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, bro. How do you not know that? Yeah, like uh, but he's still questioning it. <laughs> okay, okay. So that fucking thing. Mm-hmm. Fuck, I forgot I was going with this. Oh, yeah, we made a game out of it. And it was, you had to drink the whole thing every 15 minutes. So in an hour, we had, we did it, dude. We fucking did it. And I was in four carafes, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I think I I sucked down six of those fucking things before we moved bars. And (sighs) in fucking, right on brand, bro. Mm-hmm. My dad says, let's go to another bar. <laughs> it's down the street. <laughs> right on brand. Okay? Was it down the street? Fuck no. Dude, I, I this is how far of a fucking walk it was. I turned on my Nike Running Club app <laughs> to track the fucking miles. Was it over a mile? Obviously. Fuck, Would yeah. my dad have fucking said... Just drive three more blocks. It's just right here. <laughs> yes. Whether he's in a car or walking, same It's just shit. right there. <laughs> it's the same shit, dude. But God it was it. so much fun, dude. And we got to see so many people that we, I haven't seen in fucking, dude, a, literally a year. Mm-hmm. People that I was used to seeing so often, dude. And um, it was so cool to get out. Yeah. To not have kids on my hip and to fucking let loose, get loosey goosey. You know what I mean? It was fucking awesome. Yeah. Yeah. No, it, it was one of those like uh, I had a great time, uh, but it's one of those like party where I'm going to take a, like I need a, at least a few days break before I drink again. I um, you know what I realized, dude? I. I need to switch drinks, dude. Like mm. I got to start drinking straight up liquor oh because you know it's too much dude like beer champagne like i my body can't fucking store that much and the thing is i'm not like blasted and i'm just fucking overly bloated like i can't fit the amount of alcohol that i need to get Blacked out. Christ. <laughs> like my tolerance is that high now. And so that's uh, it, dude. I'm doing shit on the rocks from here on out. And that's just me, dude. If I pound a bottle, I pound a fucking bottle. Good God. So be it. A what bottle of what? God knows. Vodka. Uh, I don't Vodka's, know. I don't like vodka on the rocks, I don't think. I know, dude. I used to think I was a vodka guy, but that's because that was the only shit I could get my hands on. And mm-hmm. turns out I'm not a vodka guy. <laughs> <laughs> bro oh, but God, dude you i mean holy fuck man you 53 hooter 53 and to be honest yeah i mean the amount of drinking you did at 53 i mean holy fuck that's pretty impressive you know it's actually I like when I'm 53. It's, it's I impressive. hope I'm not fucking just you know 
on a rocker all sore and shit. Like, I hope I'm out there brunching I'm it sore. Up. Well, yeah, the next day, but yeah. <laughs> because you want to go on that fucking two yeah. mile trek to the next fucking bar, um, dude. That wasn't a bar hop. That was a fucking bar marathon. <laughs> bar dude. marathon. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> uh, no, you know, I, I, I think that's the that's a thing that I always worried about for a long time, like what? getting older and not being able to drink, you know, because of health reasons. Yeah, like <laughs> that's sad to say that that's a concern because that's how much I enjoy a cocktail, you know? Yeah. Um, and and that's just the social aspect of drinking. And not that I'm a social drinker. I'm not going to say that. But, but the social aspect of it, you know, not drinking when everybody's drinking, you're, you're – it's it's I hard. It. I can't do it. It's hard to be around drunk people oh, when you're dude, sober. It's fucking brutal. It's fucking brutal, bro. It's to the point where I want to catch up and I'll fucking just down shit to not be the sober guy because being around drunks is the fucking worst, oh, dude. And you think when you're drunk, you, you you're. You're saying all this crazy shit and screaming and hollering and woohoo, mm -hmm. and you're thinking that everybody's on that same page. Oh yeah, but and you have to be drunk to be on that same page. Of course, you can't be fucking sober. People are like, God damn, God shut damn, up, damn, shut the fuck stop up, it. Bro. You can't do that. That's what do you mean I can't? You know, you. Yeah. That's the point that my dad reached yesterday. The fucking. What do you mean? <laughs> who said? Watch so this. Who. When you get to that point, dude. Yeah. It's been an all day thing. And you're just next level shit, bro. Like, there's no more reasoning. Oh. Like, the second people try to fucking, you know, try to bring you down to see mm -hmm. logic, mm -hmm. bro, it's a lost cause. You yeah. kind of just got to roll with it. Ride the wave, bro. And you know what's fucking hysterical, dude? The fact that you were drinking out of a fucking pitcher, but... Look at the size of the water that you're drinking. <laughs> I know. That has got to be the most asshole shit of all time. That is pretty asshole. <laughs> that is. It wasn't intentional. <laughs> to say, oh, dude, I need a hydrate. <laughs> and double down and drink pitchers. And then the next day. Shit, it's my, the beginning of hydration. Oh man! That's but you know when brutal. you're like, not even water goes in. Oh, dude, that that's fucking. That's that, like brutal, like hangover, nauseous. You yeah, know, like yeah. I didn't throw up, but it was one of those when you wake up. You and might as like, well. I wish I would have. You know what I mean? It's like I just I felt nauseated. Like God damn it! If I go, I'll puke, but I don't want to puke because it's gonna hurt my stomach too. Mm -hmm, you know, it was that mm -hmm. kind of shit. Yeah. But um, but that's the that's the time when like you're puking it up all. I gotta night, say though, I think I, the next day your back is sore. Yeah. <laughs> Like, but I do gotta say, I did have a fucking blast. Thank you to everybody that 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 was there. Uh, all the messages on Instagram, on Twitter, on Facebook, on my phone. I haven't. I didn't. This is how much fucking fun I had yesterday. I didn't get on my phone. Um, Do you know what's crazy? What? I wasn't either. I did like the not whole time at brunch, phone, yeah. I didn't even pull out my phone. Really, yeah, no, I was, and really nobody was. Like nobody was taking pictures for the gram. Nobody was fucking going mm -hmm. live. Nobody was fucking. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It was pretty awesome, dude. I I enjoyed that part. Like, yeah, especially like I said, since it's been so goddamn long. Mm -hmm. Like, dude, it was great. It, it felt was, great. It dude. felt good. And and I, again, I didn't. So I didn't reply to a lot of people. And then. Uh, Obviously, I dropped my phone and it broke, so I now I can't reply, and I feel like a dick because I was gonna reply to everybody, I was gonna repost everybody, but now I got a fucked up phone. I gotta go get the screen fixed. Um, it was a mess. <laughs> Did he turn fifty three or twenty one? Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> but thank you guys for all the birthday love, man. And this is gonna sound toxic. Who knows? But you got white girl wasted, dude. Did that saying get canceled yet? I'm canceled. Sure I'm sure it did. But dude, yeah, everybody no. knows what you're talking about when you say white girl, white girl wasted. wasted. Yeah, dude, I, I, I definitely was. And then, um, I look when Bro, I'm just not saying shit. no to nothing. Like everything's yeah, yeah, sure, yeah, yeah, yeah fuck yeah, 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 yeah,
You could have said, let's go drink on Mars. <laughs> I got a rocket. I would have, fuck it, let's go. Cheeky, I'm not doing a podcast tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Skype me in from the fucking Mars. I'll be in Mars. Fucking on the fucking... The, 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 right there Drinking whatever they drink in Mars You know what's fucking hysterical dude As soon as I walked in My dad didn't even say hi bro That fool said I fell yesterday <laughs> <laughs> I said dad what bro <laughs> I fell I fell And then as like oh The more minutes God. passed by He was like I broke my phone yesterday. I'm like, dude, it just keeps getting fucking worse and worse, bro. I'm like, god damn, what else, dude? Jesus. Oh shit. And and how much like because I left at what time? I don't know, not like too. six? Like how how what the fuck? How did the collapse happen so fucking fast, bro? Well, could you That's imagine? an avalanche. There was no Ubers. Was no Uber. I know it took fucking twenty five minutes. Twenty minutes, thirty minutes. So like at this rate, it was like you could walk back. And you took the picture with you on your walk. I took a glass. That's the most gangster shit, dude. I I, like I said, as crazy as it sounds and stuff, but dude, it's kind of fucking. Go for the course. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Dude, it definitely is on brand. Like, bro. Yeah. It's fucking bananas, but also super dope. Like, how many 53 year olds are doing that? You know? Most of them are just fucking have diabetes and can't eat fried chicken and shit. Like, <laughs> that's fuck. weak as fuck. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, we. It, I just, uh, I, as much as people can shit on it, I give it props, to be honest. That's fun as fuck, dude. I, yeah. You, you had fun. Dude, yeah, it was fun. And 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 other than, you know, the body aches and the shit, um, and the, you know what's the worst Everything part? Everything has consequences. Okay, you know what the worst part is? Mm -hmm. Like, just waking up and, and f being like, fuck, I fell. <laughs> and then and then and then i remember she keep trying to help me walk and i'm like i'm fine leave me alone <laughs> like she's like you're not fine oh, and, dude, and all she's trying to, to do is help me fucking tossed to over, over the pier bro <laughs> <laughs> oh my god poor cheeky dude i would, dude if i was there i'd just be like she could just keep walking before <laughs> A fucking whale eats you right now because he's about to toss you into the ocean. Just walk. You guys are out of your mind, dude. Oh, dude, no. It was, uh, and and I'm just like, God damn. So then she starts telling me. I hate goes, that morning wake up. Oh, yeah. And like, oh, yeah. Trying to oh, piece yeah. together shit. And like, fuck. Oh, no. Then when she starts fuck. saying, and then you blah, blah. And I'm like, okay, yeah, that's enough. Don't tell me. <laughs> Like, just shut the fuck up, all right? Like, I'm already in pain. I don't need a play-by-play -play of how I got here. Like, <laughs> I mean. And when we get back to the, the top five through one moments from yesterday. <laughs> Stay tuned. We'll be right back after this. <laughs> Munchies by Gabs. Munchies Gabbers. by Gabs. <laughs> oh, I was about to do it too, bro. You're not hurting that hard, bro. Oh, shit. It. The chops are still there. Nah, dude. That's yeah, fucking. Dude, that was the. I, that's I, fucking, dude. That those those wake ups the next day, yeah. bro, are fucking next level brutal. And dude. like I said, getting the play by play. Oh, even worse. Like, yeah, uh, or like when people uh want to send, want to show you pictures or videos and shit, and you're just like, bro, put, delete those. That that wasn't me. Like obviously it was me, but it really wasn't me. Mm -hmm. Oh, these are good. No, Japanese nuts. There you go. They are. Why they got to be Japanese, bro? What, the fuck, what does it say? <laughs> <laughs> Japanese style. Look at the picture. Damn, that's toxic. Right? 
How is this not canceled? I don't know. They have a Japanese lady with an umbrella, of course, with God knows what what kimono? it says on her robe. What is it? Kimono? Mm-hmm. Just floating. Floating after she eats these nuts. <laughs> um, speaking of Japanese. Uh-oh. Remember Yoshiro? Oh, yeah. Yoshiro say. Yeah. So he's got a homie named Hiroshi. Hiroshi? Hiroshi. Hiroshi. Hiroshi Sasaki. Okay. Oh. God damn, but did I spill any beer yesterday? No. <laughs> Fuck no. Fuck. Five ounces of water, <laughs> I drop half of it. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> nah, he monkey. fucking dropped himself before he dropped beer yesterday, bro. He <laughs> dropped his phone, anything. <laughs> but he would not let fucking alcohol touch the floor. Um, So funny. So Hiroshi... <laughs> Is in charge of the opening ceremony. He's a creative guy mm -hmm. for the opening ceremonies of the Olympics. Because this is all the Olympics, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hiroshi was the Olymp I mean, um, Yoshiro Olympics mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he said, yeah, the women could be here, but they need to not talk too they much. They got to pipe down, yeah. Yeah. So, you know, not to be outdone. <laughs> Hiroshi, who's head of the creative for opening and closing ceremonies of these same Olympics. Yeah. You know, um, they've got this uh, this female entertainer. She's a comedian, mm -hmm. and her name is oh no Naomi Watanabe. Mm -hmm. She's a plus size person. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> my fucking hero. She says I have good idea. <laughs> Just like that, he said. I don't know if that's how he said it. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, dude. <laughs> Oh, he said, no. what if mm -hmm. we dress her up like a pig <laughs> and lure her into the fucking opening ceremonies and she's the Olympic? <laughs> huh? Anybody? Huh? Nothing? Olympic? Get it? Because she's big? Huh? Whoa, huh? dude. So of course, he's canceled. Now... I don't know what's worse. How did that get out? Dude, he, he put this, like, in, he, I don't know if he. Like, oh, he pitched this he to, pitched like. He pitched this oh, to people. To This fuck. was his idea. Like, this is, like, okay, we're no, there's no bad ideas here. We're just brainstorming. <laughs> Everybody, come on. Oh, no, dude. Olympic. <laughs> now. <laughs> Olympic. Yikes. Now, very clever play on words. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I mean, come on. He's right. Olympics. Pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> um, and Yikes. So I looked at his picture and I'm like, oh, this fucker's just as old as fucking Yoshiro. Like, all these dudes, and so, but but here's here's the other side of it. Like, of course, they fired or he resigned, right? Those pressure Forced, for him to resign, yeah. And he apologized for the shitty statements. But not to ex like, okay, like, not to excuse Yoshiro, but again, it's a very it's a culture where women are very submissive to the men. Yeah, and th th these guys are eighty. It's not like they're fucking, you know. Right. The progressive the ideas that the they ideas think are hard. Yeah, are they, not going to be. Not that they're right. They, they not that they were right. But you're thinking, you're not going to change this dinosaur. No, right? no. You're not going to change this fuck, right? So when this guy said that about the calling the shame, basically fat shaming her. Right, right. right. Um, you know, because look, I'm a plus size sometimes. Like when I let myself go, I'm going to stop calling myself fat. I'm just going to be plus size. Plus size definitely sounds a lot better and nicer. Th than and fat it's piece like, of shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm a plus size guy sometimes. Sometimes. I've been known to let myself go and be plus size. Yeah. Although. Yeah. I bet he even had a problem with that. You know? With plus size? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, well, here's the thing. Japan has a fat shaming culture oh they 
fat shame left and right. That's part of what it, the, 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 the I, I wrote down what, what, what uh, because they told her, hey, man, Naomi, you know, blah, blah, blah. And she said, it is true that I have a large body and I accept jobs with the understanding that I may be ridiculed. Like she's been on shows where people make fun of her weight. Right, you know? right. I mean, I don't know that they call her a pig. But they say that in Japan, if you're overweight, they'll come up to you and poke you and say fat, you know, you're fat and, and, and things like that. Um, they Yikes, have, dude. Yeah, they have like, there's a big, there's a strict, not a strict, but there's like a culture of, of you know, especially for women, you know, uh, they don't feed them a lot. They, you, no, no, I'm not, th this is, this is their, what they do over there, Hooter. I'm not, I'm not saying this is good. Okay. <laughs> But they, they keep their portions. Lot, they keep their portions low, dude. They have the the the, the, the this is for the, the the women menu here. Oh, um, really? I'm pretty sure, yeah. Uh, which is different than the the women menu here in the U.S. They used to have back in the day, where the women would get the menu that didn't have the prices, because obviously the dudes taking care of the prices. Um, and there was a big lawsuit to change that. Uh, because there was this one restaurant where they just wouldn't budge, and they're like, "Well, no, this is just what, this is traditional fine dining, blah blah blah, yada yada." And I think Gloria Allred took that case to court, um, dude. It poking fat people, bro, yeah. out on the street, just strangers. That's what they do. That's wild, but also. Mm -hmm. So again, no way I'm getting poked. No, no. Like I'm gonna make sure I'm not out there getting oh, poked up. Just make sure we're skinny. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure that I'm not pokeable. You know what I mean? Now, again, does it work? How how like what are their stats? You know, like are they? I'm glad like you asked least that. fat people in the world. In the U.S., the percentage of, of overweight people uh -huh. is 38.2% of our population. Okay. I thought it was going to be way higher. I mean, that's almost half. Yeah, but I thought it was going to be half. Okay. Mexico, 32%. Wow. I thought that was going to be lower. Yeah, well, they're broke. They can't buy food. <laughs> Do you know what it is in fucking Japan? What? 3.7. Oh shit! Let's start poking. <laughs> Get those fingers ready and poke. They have the so they had this chart because some people said fat shaming doesn't work, and then somebody put on Twitter, of course, oh yeah, and then they they put a chart with the populations and the um, percentage of obese people. Uh, on the top was the U.S. Yeah, you know, by a lot. Dude, three percent. Thirty-eight percent. That's fucking to wild. Three point seven. Three point seven. Fuck it. Round up and call it four. Yeah, that's fucking wild. No wonder they poke motherfuckers. There's not a, too many of them. <laughs> when you do see one, you're like, "Oh, get over here, you motherfucker! Come get poked." It's probably exciting if it's a fucking game. You don't see any of them. You know, you finally see one. You're gonna poke them, mm -hmm. bro. I think the bigger problem is poking people. <laughs> Than this fucking monkey saying Olympic. <laughs> no. Hurtful. Very hurtful. <laughs> Bro, if you're out there poking motherfuckers, this idea is going to sound good. When you're 80. Right. You know but, what I mean? But it's a bunch of, I'm sure it's a bunch of other 80 motherfuckers that, that said, fuck yeah. What's his name? Hiroshi. Hiroshi. That's fucking gold, bro. Yeah. You, and then after, maybe we could fucking poke this chick. Um, yeah, it, it's um, we'll dress her as a pig. We'll drop her in. This dude pitched this hooter. I wonder if and Americans go. Do they poke us? Somebody on Twitter said that he got poked when he was there. <laughs> You know, like, and they'll do it like, oh, my God, you're mm -hmm, mm -hmm. not like mean, you know. Oh, so it's a nice. Yeah. Like, it's a, it's a oh, game. Oh, fun. <laughs> Fatty. <laughs> <Oink>. <laughs> and look, 
Asians are getting like for some reason these dudes are you know uh in the limelight right now right mm -hmm. well for good reason you know just being fucking dinosaurs and crazy fucks but the asian community as a whole and i feel that we kind of did the whole thing with like oh yoshiro say you yeah, know yeah, yeah like that was kind of shitty right but you know i'm pretty sure that's how yoshiro said it <laughs> now out and then also, here, okay, it's not I'm, our I'm, job to give fact, like news. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, know, no, 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 no. It's a We're fucking. Just, it's the yo 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 podcast. Yeah, yo yo yo. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, yeah. so, if you're so, gonna get mad at us, go fuck yourself. So here's the thing. Um, there was a big shooting in Atlanta, right, mm -hmm. where they shot a bunch of Asian women, and they were saying it's a hate crime. And then I don't know if you saw what the sheriff said. Mm. Wasn't it like a massage parlor or something? Mm -hmm. Three massage parlors. And it was a white shooter. And he got taken into custody without incident. <laughs> he didn't get killed. Mm -hmm. He didn't get choked. He didn't get a knee to the neck. Yeah. Now, the police said, yeah, he was having problems with these. You know, he, um, he was really having a bad day. Now, this motherfucker just killed eight people. Right. And you're telling me. He had a bad day. Yeah. Go fuck yourself. Like, that sheriff was under, like, you know, like, some serious, like, get the fuck out of here, bro. Like, yeah. You're a piece of shit. Right. Um, and then people are saying it's a fucking hate crime against Asians, you know? So this dude said that he has a sex addiction, mm -hmm. and he just wanted to go eliminate the sex workers. To fix his addiction yeah because if there's no he was like so he came from a really strong religious family who sent him to therapy for him being horny i mean how horny you know huh? that's sex what the fuck i i never i mean jesus dude i mean they gave fucking one of the kennedy women a fucking lobotomy because she was fucking and they wanted to take away her horniness I swear, it's like the, dude, the Asians are just drop, getting canceled like a motherfucker, man. So, so uh, anyway, um, they started doing all these interviews with Asian Americans, right? Mm -hmm. And I guess there's been a lot of, and I didn't know this, I wasn't aware of this, about a lot of hate and a lot of race. Um, violence, dude. Violence. Yeah, people are them. fucking up Asians and I don't know why. Well. They were interviewing this one dude, and he said that he grew up with fucking Latino kids, mm -hmm. and they would always go, oh, ching chong chong, ching chong choy, mm -hmm. type of a thing, mm -hmm. and then do the slant eyes, mm -hmm. um, which I remember kids doing that. Yeah. I remember kids fucking doing that. And if there was an Asian kid or a kid that even looked Asian, yeah. it, you would get the ching chong choy thing. Bro, Mexicans who have a slanted eyes, they call them chino. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, you know, these people could be Vietnamese, Korean, doesn't matter, they don't matter. like Chino. Yeah. And, and that's what the guy said. You know, they called me Chino. And to me, I didn't realize what was happening. I was too young to see it as, as anything other than these are just kids teasing me or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, but now that I'm older, it just perpetuates this this fucking you know culture of 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 dogging this, this race right and so he was saying that in the last year since the virus and trump calling it the kung flu and the wuhan virus and the china virus mm -hmm. a lot of these dudes and women are getting beat up like they like there's kids that are telling their parents don't leave the house because they're afraid that they're going to get beat down. Yeah, dude, there's an the old people just dropping. And, and they're telling them, um, fucking, um, hey, fucking Kung Flu, you motherfuckers brought us up. The, the, it's your fault. It's your fault. You know? Is that what's? Is that why they're fucking them up? That's one theory of why they're fucking them up, and that's that that and why it's risen in the last year is because all the rhetoric about the virus being the fault of China. And just all the propaganda on the news against how China is our biggest threat, China this, China that. So, yeah, there is a lot of um, P 
people that feel like fuck the i mean look it's like when 9-11 happened right mm-hmm fuck these muslims right mm-hmm. and they're like oh the, anybody that was arab did was, anybody that was anybody that had a turban for yeah, crying out yeah right, was getting attacked you know there's a lot of ignorance in that right when i do my yoshiro say i don't mean to be disparage disparaging uh, or shit i'm just like trying to make light of something that's pretty fucked up you know and bring light to the, the fact that this is still going on this still happens you know and it happens because these motherfuckers have been ingrained with this shit. And I think the same thing's happening with the Asian culture because as a kid, if you grow up saying ching chong ching and nobody checks you, mm-hmm. you literally think that that's okay. Mm-hmm. Just like when uh, uh, the, the team from Spain did slant ties d- during the Olympics, right? The basketball team. Mm-hmm. Um, Paul Gasol, mm-hmm. grown ass man, not a little kid, not anything. Uh, and and they they do the slant ties and the chino chino japones and and uh, oink, oink, ni, oink, ding. dude, people. I grew up hearing that, and to me, it sounded normal. To be honest, like yeah. like I said, not not uh, which is ignorant, I guess you know. But it it it's what was around, and but I just you know. It's like when you start calling Mexicans wetbacks, right? You know, or or weppers or whatever the fuck. And then they like them. they speak Spanish and they just use the accent, but they're just like they're not really saying anything. It's the same shit. What do you mean? Like, you know, when um a lot of comics do it, still like they'll say they start speaking Spanish and then um like what they're saying. Arriba, arriba, it, woohoo! Ay, 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 ay. Yeah, ay, ay, ay. exactly. Yeah. Um. And they just like roll their R's or whatever, but they're not really saying words, you know, mm-hmm. um, which is the same thing. I mean, ching chong ching, I doubt is a fucking word, you know, um, but goddamn, dude, that's fucking wild. But I did see, dude, a lot of people just fucking bro, literally old ass Asian fools. I'm just, probably annoying people by joining these fucking nuts into the mic. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, Asian, old Asian people. Old Asian people just walking down the street, dude, getting fucked up, like to the point where they need to get sent to the hospital, dude. That's fucking wild. I mean, even it, like, I don't, I don't know, dude. And and the thing is, it's all races fucking them up. It's Mexican people, it's fucking black people, it's white people. It's all, everyone's fucking them up. So that's why I'm confused, dude. Like, Jesus. It, it, if it is the oh you guys brought the virus like that's that's a lot of different races that I w- wouldn't think would fuck them up for that reason you know but I don't know bro that's that's yeah I know I mean look you shouldn't be fucking up old people period exactly I don't give a fuck if they're black whatever Mexican because there was a big thing where the paleteros were getting beat getting down. fucked up dude just old men out there trying to make a fucking living yep. you know um so. I don't know, man. I, 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 I don't. And and so it's a little bit. And it made me think of it right now because we're talking about Sasaki Hiroshi. Um, and, and you know, um, again, not to beat an old drum, but you got to start hiring younger people if you want different fucking results, bro. Yeah, fuck yeah, dude. You can't dude. keep hiring. Like, if you want to be inclusive to women in a place like Japan, and I don't pretend to know J- Japanese culture other than, you know, a lot of the stereotypes, but also there's fact in a lot of those stereotypes. But again, you cannot have an 80-year-old fucking Japanese man. In charge man of that kind of action. And, 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 and put them in charge of the opening ceremonies of the fucking Olympics, And bro. think it's not going to be toxic. It's going to be it's fucking gonna be toxic. toxic. You know? It's going to be toxic. You got to nip that shit. Like, you know, I'm not saying these motherfuckers, I'm gonna, you're going to change their mind. But by the same token, don't put them in a position of fucking power like that. Yeah, yeah that's a lot of responsibility, dude, to, to think that an 80... Dude, at 80 years old, I mean, god damn. Call it 70. Yeah, it's still old as fuck mm-hmm. to be in charge of that kind of action. Right. Where the whole world is going to have their eyes on it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So, in, a, in a time where everybody's so easily offended. Right. Hello? What do you think's going to happen? Yeah, it's going to be fucking. It's going to be toxic for, as you're shit. You're going to get fucking Olympic. 
and think it's a goddamn good idea. Bro, this man, whether it was an email, whether it was in the fucking meeting, but he said we lower her down. Dressed as a pig. For the opening ceremonies, the Olympic. And we have a fire around her and we roast her. <laughs> With we an put apple it, in her we mouth. Put an apple in her mouth. Come on, dude. What were the other fucking ideas? <laughs> Was there another idea? How's this one? How's this one the one that's getting fucking heat? Yeah, no shit. What else did this fucking monkey? What did? What didn't he throw out? I know. What was like? Nah, nah, nah. They're whoa, not gonna whoa, go whoa, for too that. Too far, no, 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 big guy. Too far with that one. Uh, nah, nah, nah. Let's just keep it safe. Dress her up at a pig. <laughs> yeah. Let's just play the fucking safe card here. Um, fucking guys. Dude, shout out to everybody who joined my March Madness bracket, bro. It's in full effect right now. And dude, mm -hmm. this is why. Okay, if you joined, this is why. I told you it doesn't matter what you know, what you know, what you think you know, what you think is going to happen, whether you watched basketball, whether mm -hmm. you didn't watch basketball, it mm -hmm. doesn't fucking matter, dude. Because okay? there's a Guatemalan Tia out there picking Oral Roberts. Who won yesterday, by the way? <laughs> Again! They beat Florida. <laughs> they made it to the Sweet 16, dude. A 15 seed. That's insane when was the last time that happened the, i think ever. i think i read today only uh two to five teams have ever done that jesus Christ. in the history of march madness uh, yeah dude yeah and this is why it doesn't matter i told you guys it's like picking numbers for the lottery dude yep it doesn't fucking matter that's why a tia I, that doesn't know much it, dude this is why Diaz in the office win these fucking pools uh -huh. because they say, I like the color purple. I'm going to pick this team. Now, to not be toxic, there's some Theos out there just picking random shit too. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Dude, everybody picks random shit. But what I'm saying is like the, the people that have not, didn't watch a game of college basketball <laughs> this year win. They win. Dude, mm -hmm. my dad called me. And this was, dude, it was like after day one. <laughs> and he was like, bro, what the fuck is up with the brackets? Everybody's fucking brackets busted. I was like, dude, it's only been one day. <laughs> and I said, but yeah, everyone's is fucking busted. And um, he was like, dude, this is why just people win because it doesn't, it, it doesn't take knowledge <sighs> to guess, uh, to guess, mm -hmm. you know? And now it's just anybody's guess. Now it's anybody's fucking guess. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you would have put money on Oral Roberts, they were plus 900. Oh my God. And they were plus who knows what yesterday. Dude, 900. This fucking dude, and they were down uh, yesterday's game. So if you, you know would have. Christian college, right? Yeah, dude. They have. The Lord dude, is working. Dude, dude, two Christian colleges are going bananas right now. Fucking uh, Loyola, Chicago. They have a hundred year old. Uh, a 100 year old nun who goes to the games and they've upset two teams i mean dude god is really on these guys side right now dude i yeah. mean they said i, I th the the logo their logo is you don't want none of this <laughs> god in our life or the basketball <laughs> <laughs> bro yeah dude I, I holy fuck that's crazy it's been fucking fun though mm. nice it's been fucking so a lot of fun. people joined dude a lot of people joined i think the pot is like over 200 bucks right now um so someone's gonna come up who just guessed guessed blindly really well you know there you go and i that's what i fucking said dude oh dude my stomach is hurting <laughs> <laughs> i'm in pain dude Fucking love all you guys. Hey, fucking Mega Man went to uh, the the Tito Secret Sauce place. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this fucking guy, dude. The Secret Sauce. Yo, remember I told you there's this homie in Wilmas doing oh, fucking yes, yes, palomas yes, 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 and yes, yes, yes. micheladas and yes. shit? 
so fucking Mega Man goes, right? And he tags me and shit. And I'm like, yo, Mega Man, uh, what'd you think? How'd you like him? He was like, everything was bomb, bro. Right? I said, oh, that's cool. And then this fool says, I booked him for my son's first birthday party. I said, get the fuck out of here. He was like, yeah, I did. I said, bro, that's fucking awesome. Awesome. That's going to be a fun fucking one-year-old birthday, bro. I'll tell you that much. That's fucking not a clown. Fuck a clown. Not a pony ride. Fuck pony rides. Fucking sauce. Fuck them kids. We need palomas and michis. God damn it, bro. Dude, honestly, he should rim the fucking baby bottle all <laughs> with that fucking secret sauce, bro. I can't believe this motherfucker said I booked him for my son's first birthday. Dude, so then I got kind of jealous. I was like, dude, I didn't even know that this motherfucker does parties and shit. And I said, yo, bro, uh, what's up, dude? I heard you're doing a homeboy's fucking birthday. He was like, yeah, dog, that fool came through today and he, he booked me for his kid's birthday. I said, fucking awesome. I didn't even know that that was available. So I was like, Pilla turns fucking 30 this year. What's up? What would you, uh, would you be down? And he was like... Dude, well, I go to fucking Jalisco every December, but I'll I'll make it happen. I'm like fucking done. What? Done the and fuck. done. So Pillow's birthday is gonna be fucking bum, 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 lit as fuck. Get ready to fall. And if she doesn't fall, I'm gonna call her a fucking <laughs> pussy, bro. Really, Pilla? You're gonna let a fucking 53 year old fucking out fun you, dude? Oh. And you know what? It's crazy because you fall and you think that that's horrible, but then you realize, damn it, that, that show was a good time. Yeah, dude. What the fuck? You probably didn't feel it at the time. I didn't. You probably felt it today, but oh, I feel fuck it right today. Now. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You're not living for the next day. You're living for the now. For the moment. For the <sighs> fucking moment. You're dude. so wise. Hooter. Dude, and that's the thing. Like I said, I turned 30 and I just know even more things. You know so many things. <laughs> Bro, you know it's fucking wild, dude. You I didn't. Know, you know to not say fucking bring her in and call her a pig, <laughs> bro. I know, dude. Imagine tagging up that plan, like okay, and then also we could fucking <laughs> like Jesus. Yeah. Uh oh, you know what's fucking bananas? Yesterday I didn't eat, dude. No. No. I was just out there. Fuck. That's what even more was like. I thought you ate. No, dude. No. Nothing. Nothing. I had the kids meal. Dude, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, they were fucking calling me the kids meal because I had the, the the waffles with the, it, it said chicken and waffles, so I thought it was going to be fried chicken, but it was like these chicken tenders with these fucking little waffle, waffle lettuce right oh, there. No. I said, bro, why'd you order the French toast sticks, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, yeah, I didn't drink, uh, bro. Or I'm sorry, yeah, I didn't no, I eat. Don't, I didn't eat a lot. And so that was even more like, goddamn, dude, all this, all this booze that I'm putting in my body, mm -hmm. and I'm just full as fuck, and I didn't even eat. Yeah, dude. Imagine if I ate, I would have fucking, dude, man. I, I'm, I'm gonna just switch. Fuck it, something on the rocks, oh, and yeah? I'm done. And that's how I'm getting blacked from here on. Uh, yeah, I need a break. I don't think I'm going to drink for the next four days. Dude, our kids got uh -huh. dropped off. Uh-huh. So we sent our kids with their grandparents, Pillow's parents. And while they watched them, we went to brunch and party it up and shit. And then we finally got back home and we pretty much postmated our fucking kids home. <laughs> from <laughs> fucking Whittier, <laughs> where the girls are prettier. And dude, we were so like... We're fucked up, right? And we're like, God damn, how are we going to parent these kids right now when they get home? You know, like, what the fuck? But the good thing was it was around 8 o'clock when they got dropped off. And when they were over there, dude, like, they were riding bikes, their scooters. They even got wet and shit. So they got tired. So they were wiped. Mm -hmm. And by the time they got home, boom, they were ready to go to sleep. And we're like, thank God, dude, because we were not ready. <laughs> we were not. Equipped. In fucking parenting shape, dude. Oh, my God, dude. God, you know, back in the day, people just used to get blasted with crack cocaine and attempt to be parents. Like, it's fucking bananas, bro. Right? Yeah, dude. Like, when my homies want to party, 
Mm-hmm. And they're like, we'll just go over your pad, bro. And I'm like, all right. And then some fools have kids and they're like, hey, your kid's going to be there? That way I could take mine. I'm like, are you going to fucking mind? If you fucking assholes are coming, that means I'm going to be beyond blasted. Like, I'm not going to have my fucking kids here. Mateo might get into fucking booze, dude. He might fucking <laughs> catch me slipping and fucking take a swig. You got any fucking mind? Ah, <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, you could take him to the Mega Man's birthday party. Oh, bro, that shit's going to be lit as fuck. Fuck, bro. Adults are going to be in the jumper, bro. Are you fucking okay, crazy? Man is capitalizing on that stimmy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he showed up. He said, y'all cater. <laughs> <laughs> no. Fuck that. Everybody has a price. <laughs> <laughs> we got stimmy money. <laughs> bro. That's so funny, God dude. Damn it. Mega Man's kid is paying for the fucking <laughs> with, cheese, with his stimmy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh fuck. shit. We're going to get some craft beers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> some IPAs. <laughs> but, dude, you know, it was tight. That food, when I hit him up, he was like, yeah, bro, just, um, I could take tequila or you could provide your own tequila and fucking I'll just mix right there and I'll bring my, you know, sauces and things. And I'm like, dude, fuck yeah. Because, you know, I like specific tequilas. So that's cool. That's cool with me. Sick. Yeah. Sick, sick, sick. It's going to be some fucking lit AF. Um, I was going to ask you something. Some of the onda. I'm out of it, Hunter. Yeah, dude. Yeah, a little bit. Um, bro, you know what's crazy? I didn't realize how fast and furious the fucking Easter was. That shit's around the corner, dude. Yeah, like it's here. It's fucking here, dude. We not so fest is here. We not so fest is here. Mm-hmm. Jesus is coming. Yep. Jesus, what? He's on his way right now. I feel. Yeah. You know. Yeah. What happened? Fucking bitch, my live ended for some reason. Silly ass hoes. <laughs> um, yeah, dude, Easter's fucking here, bro. Yeah, dude. And listen, people are still not eating meat on Fridays. <laughs> That's that, dude. Come on, man. I know, dude. You know what's crazy? Uh-huh. Uh, somebody hit me up and talking about everybody has a fish fillet now. Sandwich. Just in time. For Easter. For this whole fucking oh, for the 40 days? or yeah, How many yeah. days is it? 40. 40? Mm-hmm. Quarantena. Dude, somebody, because you know how like I haven't really been drinking and shit? Mm-hmm. And somebody asked, oh, did you give up drinking for Lent? And I looked at him and said, hey, are you out of your fucking mind, bro? <laughs> you think I'm going to give up anything for 40 days? Get the fuck out of here. No, just, you know. Oy. Older and wiser. Amen. What's wrong, bro? You fuck. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it looks like you played a football game yesterday, bro. <laughs> it looked like you fucking. Oh, God. Man, I feel like de- a football. <laughs> 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 one of the deflated ones one that, that Tom I was Brady. just about to say. One of the deflated Brady balls. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Brady. Um, Speaking of Brady, your boy retired, huh? Who? Fucking uh, um, Drew Brees. Oh, yeah. Poor bastard. Hey, man. Super Bowl champ. Yeah. MVP. Come on. Yeah, dude. It was he, fucking. He had a good run. Great run. Yeah. You know? Dude. And in New Orleans. My dad saw all these treats right here, and I was fucking around with the one of these boobaloos. And if you don't know what a boobaloo, it's this fucking little gum, right? But inside, it has like this. Like a gusher. Like a gusher, kind of, yeah. But it turns into uh, a gum. And so he's like, what is that? Gum? And I say, yeah. And he said, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's how you know you're fucking hurting. Because nothing <laughs> sounds good. Like, literally everything makes you fucking gag, bro. Yeah. It's fucking the worst, dude. Yeah, I hate that Japanese shit. style peanuts are good. Yeah, that's what you, you need, like. Salt. Salt and carbs, dude. Yeah. Remember that one time you said that you fucking had chicken make you fucking cup of noodles because you yeah. just needed sodium in yeah. you? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, yeah. 
dad. My dad. Dude. The one time, remember when a year ago when shit was going bananas and people were buying shit and toilet paper and things, dude? <laughs> Bro, my dad is so against fucking cup of noodles. Like, he'll fucking slap you with a cup of noodle if you have it in your house. Bro, during that time, my dad was out hunting, dude. Not only him. He had Cheeky hitting other stores. He was hitting other stores. My dad was ready to fucking break into houses looking for fucking ramen, bro. Dude, I, bro. So then he's like, hey, man, do you guys have ramen? And I'm like, bro, no, everywhere sold out. Yeah, well, we found some. And I, Cheeky's out hunting as, I, as we speak. And I'm like, God damn. So he brings me. A fucking pantry full of ramen, bro. I still have ramen at my house, dude. It's been a year, and my shit's overflowing with ramen still, dude. Bro. Oh, my God. But before everybody thought the world was going to end, he'd slap the fuck out of you if you said, ramen. do you want ramen? Yeah. And so, dude. Well, I mean, I like ramen. Right, right. But not fucking. A cup of noodle, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, dude, I forgot what happened. Oh, my God. But you you might have came over actually and mm -hmm. got all fucked up, but then the next day you made Chicky fucking make you ramen because you just needed sodium, dude. dude. I needed sodium, dude. <laughs> I need sodium right now, to be honest. I that's the it, worst, huh? And then yeah. like everything, like even your favorite fucking meal mm -hmm. sounds disgusting. Oh, sounds good. Right and then now. you eat it and you don't even get like a quarter of the no. way done. No, I um, yeah, dude, we uh. I was just asking people, you fuck with ramen? And they'd say, yeah, and I'd give them a bag full of ramen. That's how much fucking ramen we had, dude. Because, you know, Bro. we thought, like, that there's going to be no more food. There's going to be no more nothing, dude. So we're like, well, at least ramen. You need that bitch raw, you know? Um, dude. It got to the point, bro, where my dad looked like a fucking distributor, bro. He'd hit up people and be like, hey, man, do you guys fuck with ramen? And they'd be like, <laughs> They'd be so confused and be like, yeah, I mean, yeah, I've eaten ramen before. Okay, don't move. I need to come back with a bag, bro, full Hysterical. of it. He's like, here you go, dude. God damn it. Uh, I left the big-ass bag at your Nina's house one day. Yeah, but didn't this. say anything. Yeah, I just left. He it didn't there. tell her, hey, I left you ramen. He didn't fucking. <laughs> dude, yeah. He was just fucking leaving quarter pounds of fucking ramen at people's pad. Oh man, That's it was like lie. drug deals, dude. So All right, there's a there's a fucking ramen. briefcase of ramen at the airport. Go pick it up. God damn. Um, thank you guys for tuning in to another episode of the Yo Yo Yo. Dude, my dad is done, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Struggle, dude. You know what's fucking hilarious? Oh. At like the foot, we're at sixty three minutes right now. But at the forty minute mark, my dad's like, "We love you guys," and I'm like, "Whoa, bro, <laughs> <laughs> you cannot." I get it, I get it. You're hurting like a motherfucker, but you cannot oh, tap. My God. You cannot tap at the forty minute mark. But six. <laughs> He never pulled out in his life, but fucking 40 <laughs> minutes in, he was like, all right, that's enough. Oh. We love you. Dude, but yeah, let's. I'll let you tap at the fucking 63 minute mark. 63 is uh, sufficient. Dude, time. the fact that you lasted this long. That's what she said. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> Show your wounds, dude. Oh, look at that shit. Look at that shit. My knee scraped up. No. Yeah, dude. I feel like a fucking five-year-old that was fucking running around the goddamn dirt <laughs> in Mexico. Mateito, bro. Yeah, I feel like Mateito, bro. <laughs> Just bumping into shit. Dude. Okay. Fuck uh, it. Let's close it out. Thank you guys for tuning in to another episode of the Yo 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 podcast with Martin and Hooter. Thank you for the rating reviews. Thank you for visiting martinmoreno.com, getting the last of these Winaso Fest tickets done and done. Um... Take your stymie and fucking go hire the Paloma maker. <laughs> Fuck yeah, you should. <laughs> and a big uh, shout out to Munchies by Gabs. Fuck Thank yeah. you very much for all the, tw all the tweets. Hell yeah, dude. Uh, also, the YouTube. Make sure uh, the YouTube. There I go. The sounding YouTubes. like my dad. Fucking uh, make sure to subscribe. And um, dude, we're going to start going live on there. So 
subscribe so you could get alerted when we go live on there um subscribe 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 and uh have a good one if you're gonna get loaded wear fucking knee pads and elbow pads dude peace Just a little bit I think I can overdrive It's just a little